see that it has started running. Right. Let's increase the speed. Let's see more, more. Let's take full. That's the full speed. Now let's try some wooden material cutting with this course. The cutting part has started. Glows of you. You see, it is actually cutting it. The sliding axis. Pretty good, huh? Also, it is not at full speed right now. Let's increase the speed further. Increasing the speed now. You see, it did cut. Let's point the meter towards 20 volts DC mode, okay, and connect these two wires.
okay so the wires have been connected keep watching the display screen okay, I will keep it like this okay simple hand rotation 3 volts 4 volts 4.5 volts yeah now let's do some rope rotation okay keep watching the display screen oh the voltage was more than 20 volts oh, that's interesting let's do the test again seems like it has a 24 volts motor keep watching the display screen 31 volts DC that is very nice once again let's see if I can take it even higher okay yeah 31 volts was the maximum I could do let's measure the current now So guys keep watching the display screen. Whoa 5.69 amperes. Now the motor is very powerful. It is generating somewhere around 5.69. I'll take it as 6 amperes if I could just rotate it a little harder. So 6 amperes and 30 volts. So 180 watts. Okay so guys I'm going to try once again and a little more harder. Let's see if I can generate more amperes. Okay, keep watching the display screen. So guys, as you saw that I generated 6.10 amps with rope rotation. That was really high current. So now I'm going to test this 12 volts car indicator bulb. And I'm going to glow this with this generator. Okay, so the terminals have been connected. Let's wound the rope. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Nice. 